I wanted to show you this slide because several of you, from what I've heard, both as we talk to each other and have gotten to know each other over the last few years, is that you're all looking at different kinds of solutions and trying to make decisions about which pieces of it you want to buy versus what you want to build, what's available from your OEMs, what's available from a lot of the third parties who are also partners and members of AEMP. And so what this slide really illustrates, as you start to go through that kind of a decision-making process of do I buy it, do I build it, which pieces do I want to own and develop myself, really the ecosystem is, really consists of these key elements of the solution. And those decisions you'll make as you try to implement and do implement various aspects of that. A key part over here, of course, is the devices. And you've got a wide variety of sources to acquire your devices. Many of your OEMs are installing them today. And I think that's going to be a trend you're going to see into the future, that more and more of the OEMs, uh, even for the lower cost assets, will start to embed these kinds of technologies in their products to make them available to you. And for those assets where that either hasn't happened yet, or you're looking to go even further down in the asset value, there's a wide variety of third-party solutions out there that you can acquire. And of course, hopefully, we all are working to move the AEMP telematic standard into that environment with all of those various stakeholders. The next decision is what kind of a carrier network do I want to operate on? And that's, that's the part of the role that we're in. But I know many of you are looking at multiple networks because of where you're located, the kind of environments you work in. And so really, that's the next piece. And then, how do you control the SIMs, the rate plans, the cost structures, and so on that are inside of those products? And that's really a SIM management platform. So as you're talking to various carriers, as you work through that part of your evaluation of the cost, really understand how those programs and tools work to help support that piece of your infrastructure. Now you get to this piece right here, this layer. And I've heard a lot of you talk about, and this is consistent across not only this industry, but many other verticals that we serve and work in, is you're all getting inundated with data. This layer right here, we call it the application platform layer. And whether you decide to do that yourself or whether you look to your providers to provide that kind of a resource, that's where all this data that's coming in that may or, not, may, or may not be useful to you that's where you organize that data in a way that lets the relevant data come through the process and the irrelevant data essentially drop to the floor. And some of that can actually be controlled out at the device level, but this is a very critical part of anything you want to look at when you're looking at a platform for these kinds of solutions. So essentially what that layer does is starts to configure the data so that you can put it into your homegrown systems, uh, business systems you may have purchased, like uh, whether it's in the rental industry, it might be rental man, or in the contractor industry, it might be Viewpoint or J.D. Edwards or a fleet management system. But this is where that data starts to transverse from these other areas into those various applications. And then if you've matured along the curve enough to even say, okay, I want to go into heavy data analytics, then the data can be configured to go not only into the applications, but also into whatever data analytics environments you may be looking at. So I like to show this slide to folks because what I think it does is it shows you the key elements of an end-to-end -end solution. And so as you're evaluating your cost structure and building out your proof of concepts, you can start to make decisions about which of these pieces you want to own versus which you may want your provider to own. And all of these are important, particularly to a scalable solution, if you're looking at doing hundreds or several thousand pieces of equipment.